When you hear a k sound in a word, should you use c, k, c k, or k e? Let's see the rule in detail. If we hear a k sound after a short vowel, we use the letters c k. For example, in truck. The letter before the k sound is u, which is a short vowel, so we use ck. Sock. Here the letter before the k sound is an o, which is a short vowel, so we use c and k. Clock. Here too the letter before the k sound is an o. It is a short vowel sound. Let's see the example quack. In quack, the letter before the k sound is an a, which is a short vowel. So we write ck. In backpack, we hear two k sounds, and before both the k sounds are short vowels a. So we write C K for both. Here comes the second rule. If we hear a k sound after a consonant or even after a vowel pair, we use the letter K. In milk, the letter before the k sound is an L, which is a consonant, so we use K. Now look at the letter before the k sound in the word park. Here it is r, which is a consonant. So we use k. Similarly, in folk, the letter before the k sound is an r. So we write in the word sink. The letter before the k sound is an n, which is a consonant, so we write k. In the word drink, also the letter before the k sound is a consonant, which is n, so we write k. In the word cook, the letter before the k sound is a vowel pair. Here we can see two vowels. That is two. So we write in the word book. The letter before the k sound is a vowel pair. So we write k. P. Here we have double e. A vowel pair is present before the k sound. So we write k. The next rule is: if a k sound occurs after a long vowel, we use k and e. In the phrase "bake a cake," we have two words "bake" and "cake," which are having the k sound, and before the k sound, we have the long vowel that is the a sound. So we write k and e after that a. Lake. Here before the k sound we have the long a sound, so we write k and e. Hike. Here we have an i sound, which is a long vowel sound, before the k sound, so we write k and e. In the word rake, we use k and e. After the a sound, which is a long vowel sound. Similarly, in the word wake, we have an a sound, a long vowel sound before the k sound, so we use k and e together.
Here are some examples for the short vowel plus sucker sound at the end of the word and before a short vowel. So we are writing C and K. These are some examples of words which are having a vowel pair or a consonant before the K sound. Here we have no short vowels, so we write K at the end of these words. And these are some more examples of CK and K words. Like, share and subscribe.